This is the best and greatest night of the year. This night is better than a thousand months, which is more than 83 years. There are more angels on earth this night than there are little pebbles. That night, the Holy Quran began to be revealed. This is a night of greatness, and it happens only in the blessed month of Ramadan. Just think, dear viewers, if you worship the Lord, great and holy he is, on this night, it will be like if you have been doing this for a thousand months, which is more than 83 years. Today we will tell you about this night and analyze a number of issues related to it, and we will also tell you what is the best we can do this night with the permission of the Lord. The night of predestination is not only the most important night in the month of Ramadan, but also the most important night of the whole year. And now imagine, dear friends, such a situation. An employer comes up to you and says, if you go to work on a certain night, I will give you a reward equal to if you worked continuously for 1,000 months. Undoubtedly, many of the people would agree to such an offer, but the reward from the Lord is much better than any money, and Allah will give you a reward for worshipping this night, similar to the reward for continuous worship for 1,000 months. Just imagine, dear viewers, how great a reward this is, and Allah Almighty speaks in the Qur'an about the importance of this night. Indeed, we sent it down the Qur'an on the night of predestination. How could you know what the night of predestination is? The night of predestination is better than a thousand months. On this night, the angels and the Spirit descend with the permission of their Lord according to all His commands. She is safe until dawn. From these lines of the Holy Quran, we can see that the night of predestination is absolutely the best night of the year. That night, the sending of the Quran began, and that night, there are more angels on earth than small stones. This is a night of power, strength, high position and dignity, and every good deed on this night is better than it has been for a thousand months. If we divide a thousand months into twelve, we get a little more than eighty-three years. This is more than the average life expectancy of a person. In addition, on this night, with the permission of the Lord, the Holy Spirit and angels descend. This night brings peace until morning. A great reward is promised for worshipping the Lord on this night, as the Messenger of Allah said, Blessings and peace be upon him. Whoever spends the night of predestination in prayer with faith and hope for the reward of Allah, God the Lord, his former sins will be forgiven. This refers to those sins that were personally between a person and the Lord. As for when the night of predestination comes, there is disagreement among Islamic theologians about the exact date of this night, but they all agree that the night of predestination is one of the last ten nights of Ramadan, so in order not to miss the best night of the year, we must show the most diligent worship of the Lord in each of them, the last ten nights of Ramadan. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Wait for the offensive, the nights of predestination in the last ten nights of Ramadan. There are other hadiths about the date of its onset, but all of them can be combined by the fact that the night of predestination comes on one of the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan. Also, reliable hadiths say that the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, showed special zeal in worship during the last ten days of the month of Ramadan and encouraged others to do so. It is reported that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, When the last ten days of Ramadan came, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, spent the nights in prayer, woke up his family members, and showed special zeal in worship. But some of you will probably ask, why didn't the Lord make sure that we knew exactly when the night of predestination was coming? The wisdom of the fact that the exact date of the night of predestination is unknown to people may be that Muslims diligently worship all the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan and do not rely on worship only on this night, otherwise seeing these signs, some people would worship the Lord only on this night and would leave or reduce worship in other days and nights of Ramadan. For example, the Messenger of Allah blessings and peace be upon him said about the signs of the night of predestination. The sign of the night of predestination is that this night is pure and bright and the moon seems to shine in it. She is quiet and calm, neither cold nor hot. On this night, they do not allow you to throw stars until morning comes. And another sign of it is that the sun rises evenly in the morning, without rays 
like the moon on the night of the full moon, and the shaitans are not allowed to go out with him on this day. But why is the night of predestination called that way? The night of predestination got its name because of the high place it occupies and because of its superiority over other nights and days, as well as because on this night the lifespan and destiny of people are predetermined, as well as everything that will happen during the year. In the Holy Quran, Allah says, By the clear scripture we sent it down the Quran on a blessed night and we warn. In it all wise things are decided according to the command from us. We send the prophets and the scriptures by the grace of your Lord, the hearer, the knower, the Lord of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, if only you have conviction. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Truly on the night of predestination, there are more angels on earth than small pebbles. Qatada said, On this night the deeds of the following year are determined. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Allah Almighty sent down the Quran on the night of predestination, entirely and immediately from the kept tablet to the lower sky in a place called the House of Greatness and it was located in the places of the sunset of the stars. And after that Allah sent down the Qur'an to his Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, through the angel Jibril, in parts, depending on the circumstances, for twenty-three years. And Anas ibn Malik also told, When Ramadan came, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Truly, this month has come to you. There is a night in it, better than a thousand nights, and whoever loses this night will lose all its benefits, and no one will lose its benefits except the deprived one. The night of predestination is absolutely the best night. Allah made it blessed and distinguished it from other nights by sending down the Qur'an in it, and made this night better than a thousand months, which corresponds to more than eighty-three years. Hafiz ibn Rajab said, O one who has spent his life without acquiring anything good, use the night of predestination to find what you missed, because this night is equivalent to a lifetime. Now about how best to spend this night. The best thing to do on this night is to cry out to the Lord with supplications. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, The best worship is prayer. However, it is important that you should not overstep the boundaries in your prayers to the Lord. For example, you cannot ask the Lord to help you in sin or make a person a prophet, and so on. You also can't ask the Lord to harm people, you can't ask the Lord to deprive someone of his mercy, and so on. Allah Almighty says in the Quran, do not overstep the bounds of what is allowed. Indeed, Allah does not love transgressors. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, like to address Allah with short prayers in form, but expressing the very essence, leaving out other words. Also on the night of predestination, one can say one special prayer which is mentioned in a reliable hadith. It is reported that Aisha asked the Messenger of Allah, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. O Messenger of Allah, tell me, if I find out about the coming of the night of predestination, what should I say? He said, Say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. O Allah, God Lord, truly, you are forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. Therefore, dear viewers, it is very important to do as many good deeds as possible on this night and show maximum worship in the last ten days and nights of Ramadan. And remember the words of the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, who said, Truly this month has come to you. There is a night in it better than a thousand nights, and whoever loses this night will lose all its benefits, and no one will lose its benefits except the deprived one. We ask the Lord, great and holy, that he help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for his help and protection. May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear viewers. God bless you all.